earth are strawberry legs? It's a trending term on Google. Beyonce has them according to Allure magazine. I think I might have them too. So what the fruit does that actually mean and how do you tackle it if indeed you need to? That's the topic of today's video, stay tuned. Now, just a little explanation. I currently have COVID and I am in the bunker in my new apartment. Cats are active today. Uh, which means I am filming in my bedroom, so forgive the rather spartan setup, but basically this is the only room that isn't echoey. So if the sound quality isn't what you're used to, please indulge me. I thought it better to put a video out than not. So strawberry legs. Now that is the term applied to the appearance of those little dots on your shins. And summer, of course, is the time when legs come out to play in their natural bare state. And some people are self-conscious of them. So it's only important if it bothers you. And lots of things bother us, but they're quite normal. So cellulite and stretch marks. But at the end of the day, you have a terminal hair, which is coarse and melanated. So it, it's, it's naturally a colored hair sitting in a little tube, which is, you know, the follicle with the opening, the pore. So that's normal. There are things you can do to minimize the potential for visibility and for redness. And in some instances, they're even scaly. So there's things we can do about that. So let me talk you through the steps around hair removal, which ultimately is what influences, I think, things the most that you can take to improve the appearance if it bothers you. So shaving is still the most common form of hair removal on the legs and why not? It's cheap, it's convenient, it's accessible. You can do it yourself. Um, but when done, perhaps in haste and perhaps without the right tools can definitely lead to a more prominent appearance of the hair follicle with potentially some inflammation. And it's not that dissimilar to what guys experience with shaving on their faces. So I've consulted for a couple of different men's shaving brands in the past. So I do know a thing about technique. And when it comes to shaving well, it's important to have the right tools. Now I like a simple razor, not too many blades that avoids the risk of cutting the hairs too short, which can cause them to retract onto the skin and get trapped. And that will inflame the hair follicles and lead to even more redness. We don't want that. So a simple, fresh blade, please, please, please don't be hacking away at two week old blades that have been used multiple times. That is not a recipe for success. Then you want to prepare the hairs properly. Now that means soaking them in warm water. Over time, that will soften up the hair. So rather than trying to shave something that's a bit like concrete, it'll be more like a knife going through warm butter. We want that. So you then want to prepare the skin. Now I like to use something other than a shaving foam because typically they contain fragrance and alcohol and other things that might potentially dry out your skin. I prefer something like this, which is the Eucerin Urea Repair Plus Shower Foam. So. It's a mousse texture, so it creates lovely glide, but it won't dry the skin out, which is really important. When we're trying to preserve barrier function, keep skin healthy and not irritated. So I'll use that instead of a traditional shaving foam. You then want to shave ideally in one direction. And if you're prone to ingrown hairs, that should be along the grain and treat it like mowing a lawn. So you don't go back over the area more than once. So that's your leg successfully shaved. Now what? So I mentioned before that inflammation and potentially scaling can cause the follicles to be more prominent and more strawberry-like. So then you want to think about using a gentle chemical exfoliant. The good thing about these, which typically are alpha hydroxic acids like lactic acid, is they also attract water into the skin because they function as humectant. So it's a much more gentle way to exfoliate, but also hydrate your legs and perhaps more traditional physical gritty scrubs. Now, something like body therapy, which I think is actually a really great solution for this problem. Um, it's great for keratosis pilaris on the arms too, but I think it really does help with the appearance of strawberryness of the leg um, because of the combination not only of lactic acid but also niacinamide and bacuchiol so powerfully anti-inflammatory and smoothing and then lots of lovely occlusive emollients to ensure that the barrier is supported that the skin is smooth and the texture is lovely so that's something i would use on a regular basis to condition the skin um, to reduce the consequences of shaving which as i said are inherently irritant and therefore pro-inflammatory and just really soothe the skin and support it 
with hair removal. So those are the four steps that I think make a real difference to the appearance of your legs. Now they'll work to improve the appearance of your legs even if strawberry legs is not bothering you, but I think if you do have an element of the humble strawberry going on on your shins this summer, um, that combination approach is what will really help improve the way they look. But if it doesn't bother you, ignore it. Strawberries are lovely. So yeah, that's like a practical approach to what you can influence. And I think beyond that, it's probably just something that, you know, needs to be let go and probably not stared at in any great detail, because as I said, this is a, a perfectly normal finding, doesn't necessarily mean anything's wrong. Um, but hopefully those were practical tips that you can put into action and they'll help you feel great in a short skirt this summer. All right, guys, um, wishing you well for my COVID den. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.